Hello and welcome back to my brand new series on the channel. It's finally here, Foot Manager 2024. It's been a while, been away doing a few bits here and there. In case you're here for my gathering content, I'm going to be doing some soon. But for now, we're back here with a new save of Foot Manager 24. And this time, we're taking over a new team. I'm not actually done before. I don't think I've ever played in Foot Manager, but we're taking over Torquay. They, they have played in, you know, our national league. They got relegated down to the South Banner uh, National. Now, with, with Tokyo, we're a bit of a decent size team. They've been up to League 2 not too long ago, really, like 10. Getting towards about 15 years now, but it's been a while, but we're going to get back there. Been up to League 1, dropped quite a bit. But there's a lot of work here to do, there's a lot of players. As you can see, they had a drop, you know, they were second at one point in National League, and then just straight dropped on there. There's a lot to do. The wage bill is quite high, I'd say. I'll show you now. And here is the squad. There's a good blend of solid players here by looks of it. But like I said, with some of them being towards £800, £700, with, you know, some of them going for quite on an age at 36, you know, 33. It's, it's a bit bit too much because I can buy on you know, if I want to, maybe some youngsters, like 300 for, you know, if you play for Man, you know what I'm talking about. But as you can see here, for our, be our best players, Aaron Jarvis, I'm looking forward to using him. Gonna be a good little target forward by looks like he can play as a pressing forward recently at Scunthorpe. Now fell down to his, but definitely gonna make use of him. He looks really good honestly. Probably gonna see if I can fit a target forward, like I said. Another player here that I didn't notice until just recently was also when we had last uh, save in Dover, Ryan Hansen. Great player. I love him a lot. He lasted till I think it was League One. You see he has pretty good potential in League Two. It wasn't incredible, he was a very good, loyal player though, he stayed, no issues, incredible player in my opinion. Probably using the same role, and the worst part is as well, we're taking on Dover in our first official game of the season. It's kind of insane because we did them as the, what's the best way to put it, as our save last season. It was kind of difficult because you had to survive under minus 15 points. Is. It was a rough one, but we got there in the end, it was a pretty good save, and we've got to take on them first in the league. We've already done the preseason, so I'm going to show you now the few signs I've made. So, starting from the top, when we have done our signs so far, to, you know the ones above where I highlighted right now, that's before uh, all the game changes over. These are who I've made signs so far of myself. I've been trying to shift on a few players just to throw up some wages. Got rid of one of the back goalkeepers. He was about, I think it was on 700 or 600 pound. Got a bit of money from him, might as well take it. Same here as well. I believe it was on £600 as well. So, basically all the same. They're on a way too much money they were. The, it's just helped because I have an idea who I want in. And who I've got in here, well, let me show you. So, starting from the top, Charles Hugan. Now, this is probably one of the best players I've signed so far. There's a reason I'm throwing a lot of money at him. When I saw his scout report come in, when I saw the recommendation, I've got him on quite a long contract, up to at least another couple of years of him. When it, I've got an option to extend and when we get a promotion. It looks incredible. We can play in the right, but I'm going to train him maybe to play on the left as well because it has an inside forward. But in my opinion, he looks absolutely insane. 21 years old. He's going to be here for a long time. I think he's going to carry his into the leagues, by the way, in my opinion. I think he's got really good potential. No issues with it, any injuries, apparently, but that you know, still happens. Very consistent. So at Chelsea, Chef Wednesday. Drop down to his, but I think he's going to be here for a good, good amount of time. He's going to carry the league, like I said. Next player who have been recently doing in a few, uh, say, did it before this. Just a little test run. Player called Morgan Clark from the Welsh Leagues. He's a freebie. If you play Fort Manager, by the way, and you need a midfielder to do a job for you, this is your guy. For free. I mean, zero spend at all. You can get this guy with no trouble. His wage demand is usually typical between I'll never say about £300 this one is about a bit more that's because our reputation is a bit higher like I said he, he's able to play a great job for his he's, he's a very solid player for his D he can play in, in centre field attacking midfielder don't really do that myself but as a right back as well a lot of versatility love it as well he's 20 years old he's got really good potential and I'm really excited for this player and if you ever need a player like this this is the guy you need Next up is another freebie, Ellis Brown. Great looking little player right here. He can play on the left side, but I'm also currently training on the right side. I want 
play as the right side, I can play multiple roles. I can see you can play centre midfield, left side, in through the middle, playing through the right I can as well. Got a good amount of current and future potential. I think he's just gonna be a really good player as a squad, like a depth player. It doesn't look insane, but in my opinion, I think he's really solid. And he's also on such a simple small wage contract, which is great for us. Next is a I want to say he's going to be our backup. Okay, the other backup we got is injured. And I had to get someone in. Nelson Agu, who is also used in another save. Now, he might not look at it with those stats. May not even look at the current stars, but I don't believe the stars. I believe he's not more. Current, previously at Port Vale, very, very good player in my opinion. Can play a lot of roles for his £25 a week. It's such a simple deal. Got an option for more, you know, future extensions. I think he's going to be great for us. Next is... Jesp I'm not even going to try. I'm very bad at the part that was names. You ever watched a Fort Manager save? I always get them wrong. So, Jesper is here. Previously at Leicester, consistent uh, performer. Can play across all the back three. Left back, centre back and right back. He's going to be super good for us. Saves us a lot of money trying to find anyone we need. Got decent, you know. He's got decent crossing. He's not amazing, but he will do the job. You know, he's one of those players. He'll do the job for us. And our last sign-in is a backup centre pack, just in case any issues, but it shouldn't be too bad, but just in case we have signed James Matthews, like I said, another cheap player, but with Arsenal, Watford, I should have mentioned as well, the last player signed, we also got extension options, same as James Matthews, he has the same of him, he's not insane, but he'll definitely do what I need, he has good, okay potential, so he can improve, and like I said, he's got the option to extend his contract quite a bit, but yeah, let me show you the tactics now. So, the idea is going to play out this little formation right here. It's nothing too complicated, but with Aaron Jarvis up front, he's going to play as a target forward. And I honestly think it's going to be okay because we're going to play as an inside forward and an inverted winger. So, the way I'm doing this is because um, Collins on the left is right footed, and Hayden is, of course, yeah, opposite around. And they're going to be cutting inside. At the back there are Martins and Dylan Crow. If you ever played. Four manager normally, you know who Dylan Curry is. He is. He's going to get a lot of assists. Our back four also consists of Dean Moxie, a formerly of the Premier League team, and Shane Dolan. Not too bad, you know. The only issue I have is they're not the quickest, and. Yeah, we'll see how that goes, shall we? In our defensive field role, Ryan Hansen, who I mentioned before, great player, going to get really good in this team. I've chosen Finley Krask as the midfielder here. Had a lot of options. He was here or he signed before, you know, save and starts. I think he's going to do a good job there as a Mazala. And on his left is Tom Lassil. He's going to play as a box box midfielder. Great looking player, 27 years old. I think this team's going to go really, really well in this league. As I mentioned, Lewis Collins, he's going to be cutting aside. While it doesn't look insane, I think he is. I played with uh, Newport County, say, before. He's always done pretty well for us. As I said, we're playing on Dover today, and let's get to the game, shall we? And here we go, away from home, first game against Dover, our last season's team. We're going to have a good one, hopefully, at the start of the season. I'm showing the squad, I'm showing the team. Let's get to it, shall we? I'm hoping we start off, start off strong. I've not really ever had a save, start of a defeat. Maybe? I've had draws. I've had plenty of draws, but no defeats. But anyway... I need to change my settings before I forget because this is the first game. I just let the assistant do all the um, friendlies because I I just my brain can't do friendlies right. You know, there's so much thought my jacket put in me and fr friendlies mean not a huge amount. I do my best to try and set up you know all tactics all this stuff, but yeah, let that happen. Anyway, to get into the game, early highlight now. Two minutes in, deep moxie, free kick into the box. Towards Colin, head away, a bit slow, he's going to speed the game a little bit more, but doing that second, Krask now. Now to Hanson, who was tackled there, now still going. Still going now, cross the box by Martin. Jarvis. Oh, he's hit the crop. He's hit it by, I mean, I mean, hit the bar, I'll take that. And that is the main thing, he is going pretty good in the air, like I said, he may gain a little bit faster. The main job is just to get the ball in the box, free kick to now to them, just wide. A little bit worrying that, but it should be fine. Like I said, the plan is get the ball forward, inside forwards, you know, they do their thing. Jarvis just knocks it down for them. That is literally the role. 
Longbow four. Now draw is definitely not get that one. Now to crow. Who can I right side long switch to left onto Collins? Who can quit inside here? Is that a it is a penalty, okay. I mean, if I'm gonna be honest, that is that is an incredibly soft penalty. Is this Jarvis? It is Jarvis taking a penalty. Did he, did he just chip the keeper? He did oh my god, this he had the audacity to chip the keeper on the first game. That is that is honestly that's insane. If you think <laughs> that is a lot of confidence to do that, but you know what? Okay. Fourteen minutes now, second highlight. Back to their keeper now. Anyway, this highlight going back from their keeper. Long ball for we should be able to deal with that easily. Moxie does. Now towards left side of Martin. Still going now to Collins. Absil that I'm gonna get that name a lot wrong, so prepare for that. Lapsil? Sure. Yeah, that counts. Anyway, they've got the ball. We've got it back now. Ho Hagen. On the right side going forward. Still going. Cross to watch Jarvis. Oh, I see the crossbar this time. Oh, I got a feeling that's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> anyway, throw in. 20 minutes on the clock. Krask. Now to Donnellan. Back to Krask. Hansen. Lapsil. Martin left side, Collins. Oh, nice little flick of the ball there. Uh, there's a hint that could have been a little bit farther, but it's not. That's still. Krask. Oh, just over the top of the crossbar. Good little bit of play. Good little bit of play. Got 1.4 XG, but that's mostly the penalty. 26 minutes now. Krask in the middle of the field. He intercepts the pass there. That's a bit of a problem. Power going forward, but good save. I mean, it's the first game of the season, so I expect it to be perfect. Moxie. Oof, good save again by the keeper. Yeah, like I said, it's not, um, not going to be the cleanest of games, I feel like, because it always is uh, it's always a rough one, the first one is. That's a big hand to the ball. Maybe Hagen can shoot from there. No, he cannot. He is going to overshoot that pass. All right. Well, it is what it is. They've not created much, but still... I know what for when I can do to you. Hit away. Jarvis. Krask. Oh my goodness. Nah. That man just absolutely... About broke the net of that goal. I need to put on highlights for goals. I, that is a mistake I need to put on replays. Um, but that shot about broke the net. We take those though. That's 2-0. That's about to be 40 minutes now. 2-0 up. They've made a two shot one on target which was pretty easy to be honest. But yeah, that's a pretty good half, especially the second goal. That was actually, I didn't expect that, honestly, you know, but I've seen some crazy goals for Mandra. Everyone has, probably. Now Crow on the right side, Crow in, back to Krask, back to Crow, crossed in, Jarvis maybe? He handballed it. Sure, I mean, yeah, sure. Anyway, Moxie. Oh, was that a save that? Post. I think that's the post here. Now to Martin now on the left side. Moxie going towards Krask. Lapsil. That is. Sure, yeah, I won't compare that pass, but that pass is even worse. Sure. Okay, game. Maybe if we can pass the ball properly, it'll be fine. Anyway, now they're going forward. Now it's power for them. Crow intercepts. Dublin forward. Collins knocks on towards Jarvis. He ain't going to get there. He's definitely not going to get there. I mean, the highlight is still going. And that is what worries me right now. Because they have the ball. Pretty uh, interesting head up there. Now towards him again. Allen. Crossed into power. I don't know if it's I mean, first game of the season. What can I expect? It's 2 1. What can I say? I mean, the passing kind of made it happen. You know, we were meant to be playing, a, you know, not not the way we play, pass on that, obviously, I should say that. Anyway, Collins on the left side. Can go inside, cross to Hagen. Oh, that's a good save to keep her there. That was a dive. <laughs> that was a really good save, that keeper saves it low. Very good. 
Could have picked a little bit of subs now. Maybe a Brave Crow, but I mean, Clock can play there. I mean, I may as well take the option, but do I need to? I mean, I may as well. Nothing against him, but I just want to see how he does in a roll. It was 2-1 up. Everyone looks like they're playing pretty well. I can see they're all above sevens, most of our players. They have a corner. Moxie delivers. Jarvis does not get there. Crass going aside now. Oh, is he? Oh, he's quitting his lift. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right. All right. I mean, I wasn't expecting my central midfielder, to be honest with you, to suddenly just cut inside onto his right foot and just smash it into the top corner. He only scores bangers. That's what I'm going to say. He only scores bangers, don't he? Well, eight minutes gone. I'm feeling pretty safe. Lapsil could come off a little bit just to rest him. Maybe a ring. No, I could bring on Brown as well. Just to let him learn his new role. Uh, like I said, 80 minutes gone, 3 1 up. Kraska's scored literally two of the most insane goals I've seen on a Fort Wander in a long time. Cor corner? Free kick with it, and then. Okay, I thought it was going to be a foul, honestly. But as Brown scored, I thought it was a foul. That's why the game just. I feel like it stopped for a second. Whipped in, Jarvis heads on. It saved onto the post, but then Brown must have got a little bit of a touch there. I thought, I thought it was just a foul for some reason. I don't know why. 4 1 up. About to end. Uh, hope you know for my, for my shenanigans. It was not. And that is a pretty good first win. 4 1. Brown gets a goal. Cross gets two. Jarvis gets a penalty. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with that one. I'm surprised it's not first, but apparently there are five Ukrainers, five teams who have a goal difference of at least three. Okay. Nope, oh, that doesn't usually happen. But yeah, that's been a good first uh, little little game for us against Dover, our old team. No injuries. Crash scored two insane. It doesn't even have like high finishing or anything. It just it's just insane. It's just absolutely mad, lad. But yeah, I just need to think now. What, what do I want to come back for? I mean, usually I could do like a chunk of like a month, you know, and then I come back for the next episode. So let's have a look who we're playing here. I'm going to come back for Avery and the Farmer, I feel like. That'd be a good month to play then, come back for the away in a home game. It should be a good one. Avery and Farmer, it's Farm. Fine borough, my bad. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode. Good to be back for my 24, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.